well, how long have we got? He uh, he makes a mess of my bedroom. Um, he cheats at cards. He slurps when he's eating, and and so far he hasn't even been to number twos since he's been in here, and I find that extraordinary. I've nominated Jack two times and he still hasn't been voted out, so I just gotta leave him alone. He's my roommate now at this stage, you know. So I'm not gonna go with him tonight. I haven't voted for the other, the other two ever before. So uh, it's their turn, you know. So I nominate the two girls, Anthea and Claire. Anthea, Jack and Keith are all up for eviction, but won't find out until tomorrow. I successfully had a pill today. A what? Did you? Mm. I wish I'd known that earlier. Who goes, you decide. To evict Anthea, call 0901 115 001. To evict Jack, call 0901 115 004. To evict Keith, call 0901 115 005. Lines are open now. And there's more from the house tomorrow night at the same time here on BBC One. Nobody could ever replace you, Ted. Be off now then, sir. Have I got buzzcocks all over? <laughs> the most ill-conceived, hastily assembled bodge job since the Millennium Bridge. <laughs> comic, comic. To tell me, does Brooklyn like your music or is he getting a bit old? <laughs> relief, relief. Africa. It's almost here. <laughs> comic relief. Friday from 7 on BBC One. <laughs> Respect. Clave on BBC One. Bruce Willis is the psychologist dragged into murder. The thriller Colour of Night in 35 minutes on BBC One. In Soviet Union, it's just like money. Money don't make you a better person and don't make you interesting. Money's terrible in one way, I think. It's enough to send you mad. Editor Matt C needs to get to his Paddington office. The latest issue of his music magazine, Fat Boss, is due at the printers tomorrow. Stakes are real big because if I mess up, there's about seven, eight people affected if I don't get my shit together tonight. But at five o'clock tomorrow, I'm supposed to finish the entire magazine, and I'm about 60% of the way through it. But because we've got all the new equipment and stuff, and we've got this amazing super printer and this, these incredible computers, I feel that I can do that. No problem. Matt's job is on the line. He's persuaded his dad to lend him the family car to get him to work on time. And for you, I have one set of car keys. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you can drive the car. Great. But with care. Look at this beast. Well, I hope he's going to be all right.